So those of you that are single, or at least tell women that you are, must appreciate the ambivalence to that status. Recently, I was in a cafe in New York when I spotted a beautiful woman sitting several tables away, and I wrote this poem called Perfect Loves. And my eyes embraced the table that you sat. Your gleaming eyes met mine with a smile. It is but kind affirmation that we exist in this same space. The acquaintance of our eyes and your sweet glance with thoughts that I pretend are meant for me. I understand that you're just being polite, yet it bonds together our joint humanity. Are you talking to me? You ignited in me imagination spark, and my heart is eternally on fire. Do I know you? Your intent of future life with just one look. Alas, a fairy tale I chose not to claim. What's up? I think this guy's talking at me, but I have no idea who he is. I saw you through the years, embracing me and I embracing you. But no circumstance could break our love's identity. What the hell is going on? A fantasy of history we will share, discounted by the value of here and now. Wait, I think I know him. Really? Yeah, I think he's the former dean at Case's Law School. But for all the time that you were mine, it was only the happiness that was allowed. That's right. That's the guy who's devaluing Case's education. You know it's a top-ranked university where a lot of amazing people graduated from. And then you were gone, I said out loud, as I had all along. Long, meaningless words like inchoate were all that remained with me and my JD. As I dream of the opportunity to celebrate the might and mere possibility of our future love, I can only see the happy hour at the local campus bar. 